Okay, everyone, let's take a look at Chapter 7, Solenoids. The left hand rule states that if the fingers of the left hand are wrapped in the direction of the current flow in a coil, the left thumb points to the magnetic north pole of the coil. This will be Section 7, 2, Solenoids. The five solenoid configurations are clapper, bell crank, horizontal action, vertical action, and plunger solenoids. In a plunger solenoid, a spring is used to move a rod a short distance from its center in the coil. The rod moves against the spring tension to recenter itself when the current is turned on. In AC solenoids, the magnetic assembly and armature consists of a number of thin pieces of metal laminated together. A smaller air gap is left in the magnetic laminate assembly to break the magnetic field and allow the armature to drop away freely after being de-energized. A shading coil sets up an auxiliary magnetic field that helps hold in the armature as the main coil magnetic field drops to zero in an AC circuit. This will be section 7.3 solenoid characteristics. The mechanical life of most coils is extended by encapsulating the coil in an epoxy resin or glass reinforced alkaline material. Solenoid inrush current is approximately 6 to 10 times the sealed current. Manufacturers provide letter or number codes to indicate the solenoid mount. Manufacturers provide letter or number codes to indicate the voltages that are available for a given solenoid. This will be section 7.4, Solenoid Applications. Positions are the number of locations within the valve in which the spool can be placed to direct fluid through the valve. A way is a flow path through a valve. In an electrical control valve, the solenoid acts as the actuator. In a refrigeration system, direct acting two-way valves may be constructed as normally open, where the valve is open when de-energized and closed when energized, or they may be constructed as normally closed, where the valve is closed when de-energized and open when energized. Refrigeration systems may use different solenoids such as liquid line solenoids and hot gas solenoids. Different solenoids are used for the safe operation of an oil-fired single burner system. Solenoids are used for general purpose applications such as those in airplanes. Pneumatic robots can be used to replicate human movement with the added advantage of being able to lift objects of almost any size and weight repeatedly. This will be section 7.5 troubleshooting solenoids. Manufacturer charts are used to help determine the cause of solenoid failure. The voltage applied to a solenoid must be plus or minus 10% of the solenoid rated value. A DMM set to measure voltage and resistance is required when troubleshooting a solenoid. Alright everyone, that was it for that session. Next will be electromechanical relays and I will see you over there.